welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thanks and welcome back. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you DIY personalized Valentine's Day art. Let's get started, but first, this is the list of the supplies you'll need. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is open this box. I wanted to get a smaller shadow box. I wanted to get the, um, what is it, eight by eight? This is nine by nine. I wanted the six by six, I think it was six by six, but they didn't have any. I got this from Michael's, um, this is upside down. I got this from Michael's and it was on sale. Um, so like I said, I, I would have preferred the smaller one, but you can make it whatever size you want to. All right, so I just took the back off. I'm not gonna worry about this here. I mean, you can remove those stickers if they bother you. I personally don't care. It's gonna be against the wall. <clears throat> now, um, we're gonna move this out of the way, actually. We're gonna take this. Now, that we've taken it apart, one of the things you wanna do is find out where the top is, because you wanna make sure you don't put your, um, put your art in the frame upside down. So take a look at the back, make sure you're right side up like that. Now I'm gonna cover this. This is a nice linen that they have on here, but it's not the color that I want. So I'm gonna, co I'm gonna cut this down to the size that I need. line it up so I got a better shot <laughs> at getting this straight now once I measured it off the same uh, circumference as the actual frame itself I take it in just a little bit because I want it to fit down in there and I just want to make sure it can fit inside perfect okay now, you can glue this down, or you can, um, that's the bottom, and that's the top. It's self-adhesive, so you just line it up, lay it on, and smooth it out. That's going to be very pretty. The backing that you use here can be, uh, a painting, which is what I, I was looking for. I was looking for a piece of paper that I can put in here that had like a landscape, um, that had a sky and grass. So it was blue at the top and green at the bottom. That's always an, uh, an option to do a landscape. Um, you can always put, um, get some of the paper that says Mr. and Mrs. You can get, uh, you can, there's so many different types of paper out there with different prints. So, you know, if you didn't want a sky with birds in the center, you didn't want to do something that was like an aerial view, if you wanted to do something that was a winter theme, or if you wanted to do something that was a, a, a fall theme, like say if you had an anniversary around uh, in the winter time, you can put this background that was more winter centered or uh, holiday centered whenever your anniversary is of your wedding anniversary or the date that you met or the date of a special event. It could be used for when a child is being born. You can take this and personalize it to however you want to personalize it. Of course, today we're going to do Valentine's Day, but whatever it is that you want to make a memorabilia about, um, there's so, there's an endless way, there's endless ways to make this work for you. Personalize your way. Okay, so then I'm gonna open my my stickers. These stickers are from um, Mombi. 
Hmm. I didn't realize that when I bought them. And so I'm just gonna take my large sticker and I'm going to center it. But I don't wanna put it too close to the top because I've gotta leave enough room for, for you to be able to see. So I wanna put it about right here, centered. Press that down. Then I want to take another. This is another set of stickers from Mombi. Me and my big ideas. I love their stickers. I love their 3D stickers like this. I think that's really pretty. And then I'm going to take off. Before I press it down, I'm going to place these so that I can have them. I can make sure I have them where I want them to be. Something tells me that my U is out too far. Okay, that looks straight to me. So now I'm going to press them down their position where about where I want them to be I got glitter everywhere already and I got these hearts from the Dollar Tree I'm gonna do something like that and like that I gotta make sure that's sitting within my frame This can actually go down just a hair more. Let's see. Yep. That is so pretty. Now the thing with these, the ones that I got from um, the Dollar Tree, they are not adhesive, so I'm gonna have to do these myself. Um, I'm gonna have to use some glue or double-sided tape. I don't know which one I like better. Let's see. I'm gonna be honest with you, without the little silver piece, it kind of loses its effect on me. You know? Put pink. Guess I decided against the other ones. Then I'm gonna take two. To give it that 3D effect. 
that is my intent to give the 3D effect. I think that's working out well. Just using a little bit of glue, not a lot. And I'm just layering it, I'm staggering it. Just like that. Oh, I think that is so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna take some twine. Ribbon, actually, it's called ribbon. Oh, it's wired too. I guess I should have tucked it under the heart uh, before I glued it down. But I tucked that under there. Okay. Tuck that under the tail of the E. That is so cute. I like that. Now, thinking about doing that. Okay, so I added the heart and I added the rhinestone. And I think that's it guys. I think that's all I'm gonna do. There's so many options you can do with this. So many. All right, let me clean it out. Get some of the fingerprints off. Gently. I almost feel like I want to do it like this instead of flip it upside down. How about I do like this? There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. I think that is so cute. Personalized Valentine's Day art. Okay guys, we're all done. That took no time at all. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. You know why. This way you're notified when I upload new videos. Again, thanks for tuning in. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you next week. Bye.